Why did the girls cross the road? Because I was on the other side. Mostly because I was on the other side. <laughs> because you was on the wrong side of the road. I was literally. So, the C stroke's a combination of a draw and a forward stroke. Draw and a forward stroke. What kind of draw is it? It's a closed face bow draw. Closed face bow draw pull. Closed face bow draw pull. Now, when do we use the C stroke? C stroke is a stroke that we use anytime we want to propel the boat forward while we're carving a turn. The draw stroke allows us to keep the, the boat pulled towards the inside of the turn, allows us to carve the turn. We do it closed face. How come? Because closed face sculls the boat forwards. I'll show you that in a second. We'll break that one out. And then lastly, we turn it into a forward stroke. Why? That gives us the forward momentum. So anytime you want to paddle forward, you're going to use a C stroke as long as you're turning. If I start turning to the right, it's going to be C stroke, pull, C stroke, pull. Now if I just want to glide, of course I'll use a draw stroke. But as soon as I want to propel forward, it's going to be a C stroke. This is the most efficient and effective way to maneuver your boat forwards while turning. Now, I'll show you an example of what happens when you don't use the C stroke, and then I'll show you some specifics of the C stroke. When you don't use a C stroke, watch me go in the same turn, and this time I'm just going to paddle forward on both sides. Notice that my boat is sliding. I'm essentially skidding around the turn. I'm using twice as many strokes, and I'm not going any faster. Well, what's with that? Well, my boat's sliding. My rear end keeps sliding out. Now watch. I eliminate the stroke on the outside. I paddle like with half the energy, and I'm going a lot faster. Which way do you want to paddle? Like this? Man, I'm getting tired going in a circle. Or like this. Less busy, go a lot faster, a lot easier. I like that way better, don't you? We added one component we hadn't even really discussed yet. And that's pulling towards the boat, having an active draw. A closed face bow draw that's active. What does active mean? Instead of just being static and staying there, you're actually pulling it towards the boat. Now what happens when you pull a paddle towards the boat that's closed faced. It sculls you forward. It sculls you forward. Sculls you forward. Check that out. So without even taking a forward stroke, you can simply scull the boat forward with closed face bow draws. So this is what's happening. This is where you're getting a lot of your forward momentum on your sea stroke. Now you understand why when you're turning with the C stroke, you're doing a closed face bow draw pull. Closed face bow draw pull. Why? Because when you do the closed face bow draw, it accelerates you forward. Now notice how vertical my paddle is. My top hand is staying over the bottom hand. Now we remember why, right? If you do a C stroke with your bottom hand low, it's gonna feel really tough. You're not gonna go anywhere. You're just not strong enough in that position to waste all the energy lifting your boat up. Make sure the top hand is over the bottom hand for maximum effectiveness. So far, I've introduced you to the draw and the C stroke. I've given you just the fundamentals of how to do it. What I haven't done is how to, how to make the turn tighter or how to make the turn wider. You guys need a steering wheel. You need to be able to tighten the turn or open it up. Now, what is your steering wheel? Well, if you're just gliding on a draw, the further back you put the draw stroke towards your stern, the more wide open your turn, the more gradual turn you'll do. The closer you get to the center of your boat, which is just about right under your rear end, the more natural turn you'll take. In other words, if you put it right in the center of the boat, depending on how long your boat is, that will determine how tight your turn is. As soon as you get slightly in front of your rear end, you're now accelerating the turn of the boat. So that's your steering wheel. It's the same with, uh, with the draw stroke when you're using a C stroke. So with a C stroke, you have one additional, one additional piece you can use, and that is how much draw and how much forward stroke. Well, the harder you pull towards the bow with your uh, closed face draw, the tighter your turn, right? And the less you pull on the forward stroke, the less you overpower the turn. So that would allow you to do a tight turn. Now, if you want to open the turn up, start off with a tight turn, a lot of draw, a little pull, 
to open the turn up, you do less draw, more forward stroke, less draw, more forward stroke, less draw, more forward stroke. Does that make sense? Cool. Let's review one more time. What is it that keeps the boat turning the whole time? It's spin momentum, of course. Now, if you haven't done this drill already, it's time that we do this little drill here. We're going to paddle in a circle using nothing but forward strokes. And we're going to do those forward strokes on the inside of the turn. Now, we know if I take a stroke on the right right now, it's going to turn my boat to the left, right? Well, then how the heck are you going to paddle on one side continuously? Spin momentum. Check it out. Get some speed. Speed equals spin momentum, right? Get the boat spinning. Forward stroke. Forward stroke. Forward stroke. I am paddling on the right and turning to the right. And I'm just doing straight on forward strokes. What makes that possible? It is spin momentum, of course. So this is a C stroke with zero draw and all forward stroke. Add the close face draw. And now you really got a C stroke going. Awesome.